Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to control a 6 degree of freedom robot using Node Red dashboard via Modbus communication. Let's dive in, but before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. This is the concept of controlling 6 DOF robot from Node Red using Modbus communication. This is the 6 DOF robot I'm using and there are several related videos of mine regarding the robot usage. You can watch my previous videos about it. There are six servos utilized in the robot, which I refer to as the X servo, Y servo, Z1 servo, Z2 servo, rotate servo, and gripper servo. For the controller, I'm using an ESP82-66 to connected to the internet. Additionally, the ESP82-66 to is connected to the PCA9685 as a servo controller to control the servos, eliminating the need for many GPIO pins. The ESP82-66 will act as a Modbus TCP server, there are several holding registers to store the target position values for each servo. I'll be using 6 addresses to store the target position values for the servos, and 1 address to store the delay value to control the speed of the robot's movement. In addition to the holding registers, I also utilize coil registers to store the values of the joystick buttons in Node Red. These values will be used to manually control the robot's movement using the joystick. Next, Node Red will act as a Modbus TCP client connected to the Modbus server. Node Red will write values to both the holding registers and the coil registers. Then, the ESP will move each servo according to the target position written in the holding register. On the Node Red dashboard, there's a slider control that will adjust the holding register value based on the slider's position. Additionally, there's a joystick that will manually move the servo. So, with the Node Red dashboard, we can control the robot's movements wirelessly, both using the slider and the joystick. Here's the code in the Arduino IDE. I'm utilizing several libraries such as the Modbus library, JSON library, and the PCA9685 control library. Below are the variables that will be used in this code. Also, don't forget to configure the SSID and password to connect to the network. In the setup, configure the holding registers to store the target positions of each servo and the speed delay for speed adjustment. Then, configure the coil register to store the button status for manually moving the robot. Next, upon initialization, assign the initial servo position as the robot's starting position, and store this initial value in the holding register. In the loop function, the ESP will check the button values stored in the coil register and then save the values into predefined button variables. Then, it will check if any buttons are pressed. If any button is pressed, the ESP will execute the move manual function to continuously move the servo in the desired direction as long as the joystick button is pressed. Next, if no buttons are pressed, the ESP will check the holding registers as variables for the target positions of each servo. It will then execute the move position function, which will move each servo until it reaches the target position obtained from the holding register. I also shared the code, feel free to download it from the link provided in the video description. In Node Red, these are the required nodes for this project. Firstly, the Modbus node for Modbus communication. Go to Manage Palette, search for Node Red Contrib Modbus, and click Install. Next, the required node is Node Red Contrib UI Joystick, which will be used on the dashboard as a joystick to manually control the robot. Here's the flow code for Node Red used in the project. In the Node Red flow, the inject node is used to provide initial values to the flow variables for each servo. Then, the function node creates an array from these servo values. This array is sent to the next function node to send the data to the Modbus node for writing to the holding register. In the Modbus Flex Write node, configure the server settings, ensuring that the IP address matches the ESP8266 IP address, and use port 502 by default. Next, connect to a change node to provide initial values for the servo positions to each slider node. In the slider node, configure the minimum and maximum values for each servo differently. Also, input step equals 2, to always get even values. 
Whenever there is a change in the slider node value, its payload will be sent to the change node to update the flow variable for the servo value. Additionally, the payload will be sent to the Modbus write node to write to the holding register according to the servo address. Each slider represents one servo, so make sure each slider is connected to the Modbus write node with the holding register address corresponding to the servo address specified in the Arduino code. At the bottom is the joystick node that will be displayed on the dashboard. This joystick node can be moved in four directions, up, down, left, and right. For each direction, I will correspond it with a button value to move the servo by writing to the coil register. When the joystick is directed, I'll assign a value of true to the coil register, indicating that the button is pressed. When the joystick is in the center position, I'll write a value of false to the coil register, indicating that the button is released. For more detailed information, please try the node red flow used in this project yourself. You can download it from the link provided in the video description. This is the node red dashboard. In the top group, there are several sliders that we can adjust to move the servos according to the selected servo position. Each slider is used to control one servo. There's a selector to choose between normal or fast speed for servo movement, as well as a home position button to return each servo's value to the initial position. At the bottom, there are three joysticks that can be moved in four directions, up, down, left, and right. Each joystick will control two servos, and when the joystick is directed, the servos will move until the joystick is released. Let's see how this node red dashboard controls the robot. I'm using a tablet to access the node red dashboard, connected to the same network as the ESP8266. We can observe the responsiveness of the robot's movements as we adjust the slider values. If the movement speed is too fast, we can deactivate the fast speed selector. Additionally, we can use the joysticks at the bottom to gradually move the servos in the direction of the joystick until it's released. In conclusion, this video demonstrated how to control a robot using Node Red and Modbus communication. We learned how to adjust servo positions using sliders on the Node Red dashboard, and how to toggle between normal and fast speed settings. The joystick controls provided intuitive manual control over the robot's movements. Overall, this setup offers a versatile and user friendly way to interact with and control the robot remotely. Don't forget to like and subscribe this channel. See you in the next video.